Grace Cameron, and welcome to Crash Course History. Today we will be talking about the American Civil War, and of course, the super awesome women who played a role in it. To start out, here's some information about the Civil War. So let's start with some basic facts about the American Civil War. 1861 to 1865, which corresponded with the presidency of Abraham Lincoln, the Union, or more colloquially, the North, fought against the forces of the Confederate States of America, or the South. Sometimes people call the Union the blue and the Confederates the gray, but in fact, the uniforms weren't very uniform. They were all different kinds of color. And also, with all that dirt and blood, they were all just brown. All right, let's go to the thought bubble. You'll notice from this map that not all the states that held slaves were part of the Confederacy. The border states of Kentucky, Missouri, Delaware, and Maryland allowed slavery and never left the United States. All of these border states were critical to the Union. Maryland was north of the nation's capital in Washington, D.C. Kentucky controlled the Ohio River. Missouri was the gateway to the West. Delaware actually wasn't that important. So none of that should be particularly controversial unless you're from Delaware. But the causes of the war, that's another story. The Civil War was about slavery. Actual historians will back me up on this, like David Goldfield, who wrote both North Northerners and Southerners recognized slavery as the immediate cause of the Civil War. Also, Lincoln said in his second inaugural address, one-eighth of the whole population were colored slaves, not distributed generally over the Union, but localized in the Southern part of it. These slaves constituted a peculiar and powerful interest. All knew that this interest was, somehow, the cause of the war. That now that you know a little bit about what happened, I want to talk to you about Clara Barton, who is the woman we will be focusing on today in this video. She was a super VA, super amazing woman who absolutely kicked butt in the Civil War. Clara Barton actually eventually ended up founding the American Red Cross, but that's not what she was doing at the beginning of the war in 1861. She was actually working at the Patent Office in Washington, D.C. And shortly after the commencement of the war, she, like many other women, started collecting necessary supplies to then send to the Union troops. This was also happening in the South. Women were collecting everyday items to send to their Confederate troops. However, shortly into the war, Barton realized that she could be so much more helpful if she was actually in the camps and on the battlefield. And that's exactly what she did. She headed south to where many of the battles were taking place and started nursing, cooking for, and comforting wounded soldiers. In fact, those wounded soldiers dubbed her the Angel of the Battlefield, which is way cooler than any nickname I've ever had. After the war, Claire decided to visit Europe, where she found this cool organization called the Global Red Cross Organization, and what they did was protect the sick and wounded during wartime. She returned home to determine to start an American Red Cross chapter. So that's exactly what she did in 1881 at the age of 56. She retired 23 years later at the age of 83. That is a really late retirement. The American Red Cross though still serves people today and it's all thanks to Miss Barton. Her greatest impact on the war of course was the fact that she was present at these major battles and that she nursed and cooked for and helped comfort some of these wounded soldiers. And then afterwards, her greatest impact was the founding of the American Red Cross. So some of the social issues that women were facing at this time were the fact that women wanted to fight for the right to vote and equal rights as um, women. Women were getting tired of their second class citizenship. So at the end of the war, Miss Barton started to join people like Susan B. Anthony and Elizabeth Cady Stanton in the suffragette movement to push for these rights. In the end, we have a lot to thank Clara Barton for. Without her, many, many more men could have died in those battles that she was present at. Plus, the Red Cross couldn't have been founded without her. The suffragette movement also would have lost one more dedicated member if she had not been participating. To wrap everything up, Women were essential to the Civil War because they gave aid to their Union soldiers and because of people like Clara Barton who really made a difference after the Civil War because of her experience in it. Also, women at this time were able to use the fact that they assisted so much in the Civil War to help propel, propel their rights forward. The role of the Civil War, women and their rights, has all shaped the world into one we recognize and interact with today. 
Thanks. I'll see you next time on Crash Course History.